Good morning. Welcome to Memorial Day 2020. Uh, as you can see, our parade and ser formal ceremony have been canceled. But this morning, several posts will come up, place their wreaths on the monument, and read their necrology reports. So today is a day that we honor all those one over one billion men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice to preserve our freedom. So we will uh, go ahead and start and we'll have the Gold Star Mothers come up now, place their wreath and read their necrology report. Mary Serlano. Thank you, Gold Star Mothers. Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 1041, are now coming forward, placing their wreath on the monument. But what is that? Any members died in the past year? There's three of us that I remember. And Alexander, his name is on the wall. He was my roommate in Vietnam. This I'll say about this boy. He's a son that anybody would love to have. He was a youngster. And he was talked into something that he shouldn't have done. And being trying to be courteous and everything, he took a time life photographer and a historian into an arrow he wasn't supposed to go. And this hurts me so much. And uh, this is for him today. And this is for, who was our president, past president? George Mittler was our real leader for a couple of years, and he's passed away just recently. So that's this for the Vietnam veterans of Stewart, Florida, 1041. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, now, uh, Road to Victory Military Museum, Bob Schertz. And Bob, do you have a necrology report? Have you lost any members in the past year? Uh, this past year, uh, we have not, but a lot of the vendor veterans we do know, uh, some have passed uh, over the past year, and the numbers are getting fewer. And uh, we try to keep them in memory, and that's one of the reasons we have the museum, so that people never forget the sacrifices made for this country. Thank you, Bob. Thanks for coming. So it uh, looks like we have uh, U.S. Military Vets Motorcycle Club just pulled up on their motorcycles. And we also have Senator Gail Harrell here with us. Gail, would you like to come up and say a word or two? We always appreciate Senator Harrell. She's here for all of our events, helps us out a lot in the Senate, and has always been very caring for veterans. And, of course, her husband, Doc Harrell, was a Vietnam veteran. Gail. Well, thank you so very much. I don't know if you can hear me, but I just wanted to come out on a very rainy day to honor our veterans, especially those who gave their lives. We so appreciate all that they have done to keep us safe. And uh, we're now in the midst of another kind of war against COVID, and we all have to work together to make sure that we get through this. But I know with the American spirit, we will do it. So thank you for being here. And I uh, appreciate everything our service people have done for us. Thanks, Senator. So we have a small 
group of marchers who have uh, apparently done their old, own parade to honor the veterans and they are just approaching the archway now and it looks like they are going to come forward. And also the United States Military Vets Motorcycle men are coming forward. AM vets. <laughs> so it's American Legion and AM vets. So coming forward now our American Legion 126 and AMVETS 92. They will come forward and uh, if they have a member that would like to read their necrology reports, we will do that at this time. The reason we're here is not because of politics. It's not because we're making a statement about the virus. It's not because it's an election season. The reason we are here is because the men and women that gave their life died in the mud. They died while they were sick. They died while they were scared, and we owe them to every single year, regardless of what's going on in the world, to thank them. It's one day out of your life, and it's, it's worth it by a million times. We couldn't be here bitching about politics and the virus and all that had they not died for us. So this is not here as a statement to anything except for our love and appreciation for the men and women that gave every single last ounce of valor for us to be able to be free. Thanks, Joe. We now have U.S. Military Vets Motorcycle. If you guys would like to come forward and place your wreath up here on the monument, and if anybody wants to do their necrology report, please feel free to do so. Need me out of the way. You guys have a necrology report? Nope. Okay. Present. Arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say does that star 
So once again, I'd like to thank everybody for braving the elements and showing up to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And that concludes the ceremony. Thank you all very much.